long, long ago, in a village near the large German town of Bremen, lived a man who had a donkey. Maybe one should say, there lived a donkey who had a man, for the donkey was a much nicer animal than his owner. The donkey was a very ordinary donkey, like you and me, with not much talent beyond his ability to carry heavy sacks of corn to the mill each day, every day, except Sundays, for years and years. Many summers and teeth-chattering winters went by. The donkey began to stagger under the ever-increasing weight of the corn. He became convinced that his master was purposely filling the sacks with old cannonballs in order to test him. But of course, it was only the donkey getting older. Sometimes, when the donkey struggled with his load, the man beat him with a stick. At other times, the man would simply shake his head and wonder why he should go on feeding a donkey that wasn't strong enough to work for him. The donkey knew what the man was thinking, so he gathered his strength and ran away. Being a very ordinary donkey, like you and me, with not much talent beyond his ability to carry heavy sacks of corn, he decided to become a musician. He liked music and felt certain that a large town like Bremen would have an orchestra which he could join and earn a living. So, full of confidence, he set off along the road to Bremen. Now the donkey had not gone far when he almost stumbled over a dog lying in the middle of the road. Having been scolded often himself, he didn't immediately lash out and say, Hey, you stupid knuckle-headed beanbag, can't you see where I'm going? But instead, the donkey nudged the unhappy dog gently with his nose and asked, What's the matter with you, old man? replied the dog. I'm too old to hunt, and my master is planning to kill me, so I've run away. But how shall I earn my living? Well, why don't you come along with me? asked the donkey. I too have run away from my master, and even now I'm on my way to Bremen to become a musician. Having been beaten so often, I feel a deep need to beat something myself. I know, I shall play the drums, and you, you being a sort of old soldier, could play the trumpet. Maybe we could play duets. The dog liked the idea, and full of confidence, the two of them set off along the road to Bremen. <laughs>
Now the donkey and the dog had not gone far when they almost stood on a cat lying in the middle of the road. Although the dog did feel his teeth tingle ever so slightly, he didn't immediately lash out and bark. Hey, you lazy, dim-witted flea bag, can't you see where we're going? And then bite her in the tail. But instead, the dog nudged the miserable cat gently with his snout and asked, What's the matter with you, old girl? Meow, replied the cat, who had a face about as long as eight pages of homework. I'm getting old and my teeth are not so sharp anymore, which makes it difficult to catch mice. My mistress is thinking of drowning me, so I've run away. But how shall I earn my living? Why don't you come along with us, suggested the donkey. We too have run away from our masters and even now are on our way to Bremen to become musicians. Good idea, responded the cat, perking up suddenly. Actually, many of my forefathers went into stringed instruments, so I shall play the violin. And then, full of confidence, the trio set off along the road to Bremen. How oh, I miss the good old days, reminisced the cat sadly, when mice fainted at even the merest mention of my name. Whole days were spent playing hide-and-seek, stopping only for the occasional crispy, crunchy cockroach. Oh, how we sang, continued the cat, right through the night, songs like, oh, solo meow, one cat following the other. Sopranos, altos, tenors, Bases, all harmonizing loudly and lustily. Until a big smelly boot would whiz through the air and end the concert. Now the donkey, the dog, and the cat had not gone far when they came to a farmyard. Unsuspecting, they strolled towards the fence, when suddenly... A rooster leapt out from behind a barn, squawking and screeching at the top of his voice. Yikes! An alarm clock, screamed the donkey. An opera singer, shouted the dog. Mmm! supper, thought the cat, quietly licking her lips, but suppressing the urge to dig her itchy claws into the rooster's delectable rump, the cat tippy-toed right up to the squalling rooster's left ear and said, shut up! And having caught the rooster's attention, the cat inquired, what's the matter, old cock? Why do you shout so? Oh, groaned the rooster, we're to have guests for dinner on Sunday, and, and I'm the dinner. Well, don't worry, said the cat, you're not chicken pie yet. Why don't you come along with us? We're on our way to Bremen to become musicians, and with the amount of wind you have, you'll make a wonderful clarinet player. And so, full of confidence and the joy of friendship, the donkey, the dog, the cat and the rooster continued along the road to Bremen.
When night fell, the travellers had not yet reached Bremen, so they decided to sleep in the forest. The donkey and the dog under a tree, the cat on a low branch, and the rooster safely at the top of the tree. Psst, said the rooster shortly. I see a light in the distance. It must be a house or something. Well, I hope it is, said the donkey. Oh, I'm uncomfortable and hungry too, added the dog quickly. Sleepily, they marched through the forest until they reached a house where light streamed out of a window. The donkey, being the tallest, looked in and then whispered excitedly, the only thing between us and a large table full of scrumptious food is, yes, interrupted the others eagerly, is a large table full of robbers. Oh, groaned the others. But being hungry, they soon devised a plan to frighten away the robbers. Very quietly, the donkey put his front legs on the windowsill. The dog jumped onto the donkey's back. The cat climbed onto the dog's back. And the rooster flew up and perched on top of the cat. And when the donkey gave the signal, they began to make music together, at the same time crashing through the window. Terrified robbers screamed and fled into the forest. The animals laughed heartily, ate a splendid meal, put out the light, and settled down to sleep. The donkey lay down on some straw in the yard. The dog settled behind the door. The cat curled up in front of the fire, and the rooster found a comfortable beam in the roof. Exhausted, they were soon fast asleep, some distance away in the forest. The robbers saw the light being extinguished in the house. Why, asked the chief robber, did we allow ourselves to be frightened by, by a lot of noise? So being good at delegating, he sent his junior assistant robber to investigate. The robber went quietly into the house then into the kitchen to find a candle. Having found one, he bent down to light it on what he thought was a brightly glowing coal in the fire. Now, cats are not very fond of having candles poked into their eyes, so she hissed and spat and then jumped up and scratched the robber's face. Running towards the back door, the robber tripped over the dog who jumped up and bit him in the leg. Limping across the yard, groaning in agony, he unfortunately bumped against the donkey who gave him a mighty kick in the behind. The disgusted rooster, having been wakened by the din, dive-bombed from his beam and screeched all he could at the robber. Frantic, the robber stumbled back to his companions. A witch spat on me and scratched my face, he spluttered, and from behind a door appeared a man who stabbed me in the leg. In the yard, a monster beat me with a log, and a judge above me shouted, I'll catch you robbers too. Needless to say, the four friends were never again disturbed by the robbers, and although they never did get to Bremen, these four very different friends settled down to a life of caring for one another, making happy music, composing songs, and living in perfect harmony. Well, almost. What? shouted the dog. I can't play all these long notes. I'm a trumpet, not a tuba. What about me? squawked the rooster, making me leap up and down like that. I'm a clarinet, not a grasshopper. And how, asked the donkey, am I supposed to play so many percussion instruments at once with my teeth? No, 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 said the cat. All it takes is a bit of practice. Let me show you on the violin, and then you follow me.
see, said the cat, it's really quite easy if you try hard enough. As they played, animals from all over the forest surrounded the home and joined them in singing the cat's new song. And if there are any animals here who enjoy making music, then wait for the donkey to give the signal and then sing along.